In this video, I'll be discussing some of the important lessons from the self-help book which I've gone through very recently. And that is, As a Man Think It by James Allen. This book is very helpful for anyone because it describes how our thoughts impact our lives. So watch the video till the end. Let's get started. So brief introduction about the book. As a Man Think It by James Allen is one of the most inspirational book out there which is for everybody, irrespective of your age, gender, and if you are in any walk of life, be it job, business, or academic career, whatever. At first, this book might seem very philosophical and abstract because it is written in a poetical verse in the form of a poem. But once you start understanding each line of the book, you will get to know its real life significance. Actually, this book will ultimately help you to give a direction in life. A short description about the author, James Allen. James Allen was born on 28th November 1864 in Leicester, England. After the passing of his father, he has to support his family. So he started working at a very young age as a stationer, private secretary in British manufacturing firms and then as a journalist and reporter in London. He started his career as a writer in 1898. As a man think it, published in 1903, is his most famous and best-selling books, which is inspired from the biblical verse from the book of Proverbs 23-7, to which says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Author described this book as a book that will help you to help yourself. He passed away on 24th November 1912. He is now considered as one of the founding fathers of modern inspirational thought. Now let us get to know some of the learnings. Human is the master of thought, the molder of character, and the maker and shaper of condition, environment, and destiny. You do your day-to-day -day activities and thinking from your conscious mind. Whatever you keep thinking gets deep rooted in your subconscious brain because it is linked with the conscious brain and you will also know that subconscious brain makes your conscious brain to take the actions that align with your thought knowingly or unknowingly you start taking the actions which align with your thought and that builds your personality over time that is why it is said that surround yourself with the people you want to become in future you start becoming the average of your friend circle by inculcating their thought process therefore it is said that you should think in the right direction and avoid wrong thoughts to fill up your brain. For example, if you want to be a businessman, you should have to inculcate the thought process of the entrepreneurs, how they think. Person do not attract that which they want, but that which they are. In order to achieve what you want, you will have to become deserving at first. You will not just get what you want by dreaming only. You will have to take actions, you will have to execute. This is very important because most of the people dream about something, to achieve something, but they don't take actions. That's why they are left behind. For example, if a person has become fat and unfit by consuming unhealthy and junk foods, then in order to regain his or her health, he or she has to first adopt proper eating habits. That means they have to stop consuming those junk foods. Then only that person will deserve a proper health. Your mental state determines your health. The nature of your thoughts, whatever you think day in and day out, decides your mental state. And since mind is within the physical body and interconnected, whatever is your state of mind gets reflected by the physical body. Since physical body is a servant of mind. For example, if a person is optimistic and positive about his or her future, then he or she will look very energetic and enthusiastic while doing day-to-day -day activities. Purpose should be well defined in order to accomplish something. Without a clear purpose, all the distractions of life will move you from one place to the other. It will create self-doubt and fear within yourself and this will lead to failure. Therefore, definite purpose will guide you and motivate you to act and think towards your accomplishments. Ultimately, you have to be clear of what you are doing. Otherwise, you will end up nowhere. An individual has to lift himself up from his or her emotional desires in order to achieve and sustain victory. We humans have emotional desires of many times. In order to achieve success, we have to refine and channelize specific emotional thoughts like empathy, sympathy that will help in the journey of success. We cannot display all sorts of emotional thoughts that spring in our mind. Therefore, we will have to sacrifice confused animal thoughts, example greed, jealousy, to attain victory, be it small or big. After all, achieving success 
you cannot just relax and allow unnecessary thoughts to be accumulated in your mind. You will have to maintain your victory with the right thoughts. Example, you might have heard of some people who have indulged into corruption after reaching great heights and gradually they end up in nothing. Dreams become reality if and only acted upon accordingly. Every great creation of mankind first emerged as a thought or an idea in the mind. And then with continuous effort in the right direction, that method or object came into existence. For example, light bulb was an idea in Thomas Edison's mind, which he made it a reality after like failing 1000 times. That's a huge number. Calmness is power. Calmness of mind is one of the traits of a wise person and is developed oh. as a result of continuous efforts in self-control. A calm person is loved by everyone because he or she acts like a shade giving tree in desert. A single quote that summarizes the whole book. Person is limited by thoughts that he chooses. I highly recommend this book to everyone who is watching this video. It is a small and cheap book under 100 pages. The lesson will instill in your mind if you read it for yourself. It is one of the best investments that you can make in life. So what are you waiting for? Nridhiya signing off.